assuming that you know something about DevOps and its tools, let us talk about some of the roles and responsibilities of a DevOps engineer. Generally speaking, DevOps is not practiced the same way in every organization. The tools, the cultural practices will differ from organization to organization and for that very reason, even your roles and responsibilities as a DevOps engineer would differ accordingly. In some organizations, DevOps engineers are more inclined towards the development side of the process, which might involve things like building, testing, deploying the software, etc. While in other organizations, they could be more of a system administrators following all the DevOps practices. But in general, as a DevOps engineer, you must be able to configure or manage the entire CSED pipeline and that translates to you being familiar with all the tools involved in the entire process like Git, Jenkins, Build Tools, Ansible, Shell Scripting, etc. In fact, you will work very closely with development team in order to assist in automating the software delivery process or making suggestions to optimize the CICD workflow. One of the other areas you would work on as a DevOps engineer is to automate the process of creating and provisioning the infrastructure for various teams involved in the entire DevOps lifecycle, like the testing team, ops team, development team, etc. So you need to be familiar with the infrastructure provisioning tools like Terraform and even the configuration management tools like Ansible, Chef, Puppet. And you're also expected to have knowledge on the programming languages like Python, Golang, etc to be able to write automated scripts. Another area you are expected to pay attention to is to streamline the communication between various teams like quality assurance team, ops team, that is to basically bridge the gap between the different teams and to ensure the smooth coordination and alignment of goals. We also have a slightly different role that is similar to DevOps engineer and that is DevOps administrator. DevOps administrators have slightly different set of responsibilities compared to DevOps engineers. DevOps administrators understand the entire CLCD pipeline and they focus on managing and maintaining the infrastructure as well as the tools used in the entire DevOps process. They work very closely with development teams to ensure that the software updates are smoothly deployed to the production environment. DevOps administrators are also expected to have very deep knowledge on using cloud services and they need to find ways to optimize use of resources, make process improvements, enable DevOps mindset in the organization by working with different teams, the development and ops team basically, so on and so forth. Obviously, both DevOps administrators and DevOps engineers share a host of responsibilities. There's no clear line drawn between these two job roles Depending on the organization and the way they adopted the DevOps culture, their roles and responsibilities will differ accordingly. But regardless of the role, one thing is pretty clear. You need to have knowledge on cloud and all the DevOps tools that we've talked about. You don't have to have deep understanding on any one particular aspect of DevOps because we have specialized roles like system administrators, security admins, network admins, etc but you're expected to have a holistic knowledge on everything involved in DevOps. So overall, as a DevOps engineer, you need to have good knowledge on AWS services, especially those that are related to compute storage database and networking, and also DevOps specific services like AWS code pipeline, AWS code deploy, and AWS code build to say a few. In addition to that, you must be familiar with organization's DevOps culture and practices, obviously, like agile development, continuous integration, continuous delivery, continuous deployment, and also the tools involved in the process. Coming to certification, the most relevant certification for you would be to do DevOps professional certification. But before you attempt that, I would recommend doing SysOps Administrator Associate exam because like I said, you might share some responsibilities of a system engineer as well. Second to them would be to do security specialty certification exam as well. And you might be wondering why security certification is recommended. Long story short, lately even the security team started to feel the same issues 
that ops team were facing earlier, resulting in blame game, delay in software delivery, so on and so forth. So nowadays, DevOps engineers are also required to pay attention to the security aspects of the application, and they need to ensure security in the entire life cycle of software development. So although your job role is DevOps engineer, in reality, you could be DevSecOps engineer. And if you ask me, it can also be DevSec TestOps, to be honest, test for testing, because apparently even testing teams are kind of going through the same problems, like as with the ops team. Hope it helps. If you like this video, you should also check out my other video, which is on the same topic. Link to that video is in the description below. Make sure you watch it. I've also kept some useful resources on this topic. Again, you're going to find them all in the description below. But before you leave, do like and subscribe. The current subscriber count of this channel is embarrassingly low. And this channel is really struggling to take off despite putting a lot of effort to create good content. It only takes a couple of seconds for you to like and subscribe. I don't really expect you to share this video because I understand it's a difficult task to do, but if you do it as well, it helps this channel and keeps us motivated to bring you more quality content like this. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day ahead.